know yourself, know the weather, and you'll win the war. In October 1943, a German U-boat sails to the coast of Labrador in what was then the British Dominion of Newfoundland to install this, an automatic battery-powered weather station. The goal of this secretive mission? Gather crucial meteorological data about the North Atlantic, which in theory could help plan attacks on Canadian aid convoys headed to England. Because Germany was blockaded early on in the war, they had limited resources for, for, for predicting weather. They had their own weather stations. but. You know, they didn't have the access to the information that the Allies had, especially when it came to the convoys. Now, the key thing with the Germans is they want to kill the convoys, because if they starve England, that, and they can't fight that war. Unfortunately for the Germans, the station stopped working shortly after it was installed, but it remains an example of just how significant an influence the weather had on outcomes in the Second World War. As this naval war history expert explains, the Allies were able to set up stations in places like Greenland and Iceland, which helped them plan operations to coincide with good weather. If Germany had had access to that same information, it may have been able to better predict where and when those convoys were traveling. Not having the weather, weather information puts you at a disadvantage because, of course, the Allies would know when the weather was going to get rough and they'd make accommodation for that. What's maybe most fascinating about this story, the weather station's existence was actually largely unknown on this side of the Atlantic until it was accidentally discovered by a geographer in 1977, more than 30 years later. Now it sits as part of the permanent collection at the Canadian War Museum in Ottawa, a testament to one of the only known Nazi operations that actually took place on North American soil.